Hello there, and this is Eric Blade, author of G-Voice for WebOS, and I'm here to uh, show you a little presentation, which I'm recording with a touchpad. So, that's uh, where the video comes from here, and I'm going to show you the touchpad and the pre-version here of G-Voice. And just a moment while I get my touchpad all set up here. All right. When you first log into G-Voice, you'll be presented with this screen, which is your overview inbox. It's just like the starting page when you log into your uh, Google Voice account through the website. You have a list of all the messages on the currently loaded page here on the left, and here is the actual messages themselves. You can select each one and center that on the screen. And you can long hold on a message in the index to bring up a menu with your functions reply, call, delete, archive, listen if it's a voicemail, add contact if it's not a known contact, and block person. You can also receive that menu by tapping on the message in the overview or in the conversation view. When you have that conversation centered on screen, in the conversation view, you can reply to a message just by using this little box down here on the screen. And you can make telephone calls, compose new messages, Call your voicemail from any configured phone, any forwarding phone configured on your Google Voice account. You can switch to a contacts view, of which I have no information about my contacts here, so sorry about that. And uh, let's see here, we also have the menu, the system, the program menu has uh, some options here that are also over in the upper right hand corner as well. Uh, on your preferences you have the ability to set timers for background refresh and foreground refresh as well as configuring text-to-speech options. You can uh, disable the text-to-speech system completely or choose to use it for uh, basic notifications, names and numbers, or even read your incoming text messages to you. And you have a font selector. Um, basically, that is uh, it with, as far as Google Voice. Oh, yes, you also have uh, the ability to star and unstar messages right from the conversation or from the overview. And you can see all of your various pages from Google Voice just by selecting them in the drop-down here on the left. Now, as far as voicemail support goes here, we do support listening to your voicemail uh, through the Flash uh, version of Google Voice. And I'm going to start that here. Testing of voicemail listen function. Testing of voicemail listen function. I'm guessing that the P transcription here will probably be pretty bad, but at least you should be able to... Okay. So, that's your voicemail. Now, when you log into Google Voice, to get your voicemail, because WebOS does not allow us to download things directly from a secure site, we do ask that you log into both the application here from this box and also the web browser here. Uh, by logging into the web browser, we're able to open the uh, Flash player for Google Voice directly from inside the application, whereas normally we don't have the ability to do that. So that's what allows us to get Flash without sending any of your identifying information for your Google account to any third-party servers. Uh, everything in Google Voice is as secure as it is uh, with any other Google application that you log into from your touchpad. Um, okay, that's your basic overview there. And uh, let me grab my pre here, and we'll uh, do a little demonstration of that. 
Google Voice does work on the Pre, Pre 2, and Pre 3 uh, if you have the HP Maps update installed. And it basically looks the same. You have your index view with all your buttons here, your uh, box control here on there. Slide over to the inbox overview and you have all your messages here that are in the currently loaded page and you can load individual ones into the conversation view tab here. Now here on my pre-1 we're not able to do a voicemail check. The pre-1 does not support flash. Uh, I have been told that this does work on the pre-3 and I haven't yet tested it on the pre-2 but I will hopefully be doing that here very soon. Uh, every other function pretty much works on the pre-3. Text-to-speech is presumed to not be possible on the pre-1. Uh, I'm not able to get that to work at the moment uh, and has not been tested on the pre-2 yet. Um, but yeah, From uh, the pre, everything is basically just like it is in the touchpad version. Uh, some people even like this even better than the touchpad version. But you've got the uh, little tab interface up here for switching between each different view as well as being able to slide over. I always think it's really neat to be able to see this application that I wrote on my touchpad running on a phone directly. There's my contact information again there. And you can always add a contact, compose a new voice or new text message, call your voicemail, or place a call from any of your Google Voice forwarding phones. Now, aside from actual configuration of your Google Voice account, which is not currently supported, as far as I'm aware, we do support virtually every other function of Google Voice. You can even buy calling credit if you use any of the long-distance calling functions, uh, which launches a browser straight to Google's uh, website so that you can purchase calling credit. You can purchase the credit and bam, it will load it right back into the application from which you can place a call. Now you, of course, uh, you don't need calling credit to make calls within the U.S. to U.S. numbers, but if you were calling outside of the country, you, that may be something useful for you. All right, now hopefully that'll give you a little overview of the Google Voice and G Voice program. Note, of course, that you cannot use G Voice to make outgoing telephone calls from your devices directly unless you have a pre, and that pre is set up as one of your forwarding phones or unless you have configured a homebrew solution like LinPhone or something along those lines. Google Voice does not provide VOIP service. Okay, now that that's out of the way. Hopefully that gives you a little more information on what G Voice is about. Basically, free text messages, free fo call forwarding, all sorts of neat functions, and if you do need anything more, feel free to drop me a line. And uh, there's also plenty of web services out there that uh, offer uh, various uh, enhancements and uh, tips and tricks for using Google Voice. This is something that I use every day for all of my text messaging and most of my voice calling functions. And uh, I think the app uh, really is a very nice uh, representation of uh, what can be done. So uh, if you have any questions... Just drop me a line. Thank you. Have a great day.